Clear set. Ready. Pride's easy feed. Victoria Oaks. Green light, they're racing. Out fast with both Coastal Babe and RDB Mickey. Coastal Babe keeps out the challenge. Shows some joy from inside the back row. Tracks through and it's behind the leader going into the first turn. Uh, then in fourth position is Vague Beauty. Settles down 1-1 by the first turn and three back the inside is Tilly Jane. Out wider then to Kiss. It's three deep at moving forward and four wide was the answer. Then came Look Like Diamonds about five metres away. Two uh, stitched up Dan and then came your Rika Joe, who's back about uh, third last, now second last as they work their way into the straight as Jillaby Illuminate went to the pegs. Looks like Diamonds is pressing on three wide and back last is uniquely ideal. In front is the favourite, Coastal Babe, two laps to go. Moving up on the outside to second is RDB Mickey. It works around the answer, who briefly went up without cover. Looked like Diamonds was caught three wide, was going forward looking for the spot outside the leader, but couldn't get in, so it's drifting back towards the rear. Coastal Babe in front, shows some joy, settles in behind it. Third the outside is RDB Mickey. Then three back along the pegs is Tilly Jane as they work their way into the back straight and they're about to complete one circuit. The answer, fifth on the outside. Then came Vague Beauty, four back the pegs. Next is Kiss and then Jillaby Illuminate. On the outside, stitched up Dan as they head along the back straight from Eureka Joe, third last the inside and then Uniquely Ideal and last is Look Like Diamonds. Heading off the back straight, 1,400 left to travel. Lead time in 1.23.6. And the leader is the favourite and that's Coastal Babe with James Herbertson and leads from Show Some Joy who gets a lovely trip in behind it. The outside third is R B Mickey having to do it the tough way. She's without cover. Tilly Jane three back along the pegs. Next the outside is the answer. And then four back the inside is Vague Beauty. First quarter of the last mile in 30.4. About midfield is Kiss. And then Jillaby Illuminate the inside. From Stitched Up Dan, uh, back towards the rear of the field there, is uh, Eureka Joe on its outside, uniquely ideal, and look like Diamonds is last. 900 metres left to travel. As they make their way out of the straight in the Pride's Easy Feed, Victoria Oaks final at Group 1 level. And the leader is Coastal Babe, has had a decent trip. Coastal Babe runs to the 800, three metres in front. RDB Mickey second, show some joy, will rely on the garage. Sprint Lane has had a good run third. That second quarter in 30.6. In fourth position is the answer. Kiss Peels three wide. Tilly Jane three back the pegs and then came Stitched Up Dan. Next is Vague Beauty and further back in the field then to Uniquely Ideal. Jillaby Illuminate look like diamonds and back last of all is Eureka Joe as they head off the back straight. The leader is uh, the favourite Coastal Babe. Kiss went up to second under pressure. RDB Mickey. Leaders back is show some joy as they hit off the back. 28 seconds, third quarter. It's Coastal Babe, three metres to Kiss. The inside shows some joy into the straight though. Coastal Babe in front from Kiss and the inside shows some joy. Coastal Babe, three metres clear. She's going strongly. Kiss trying hard, Coastal Babe in front, Coastal Babe. Coastal Babe beat Kiss, third show some joy and fourth Vague Beauty has run the race of her life. Then came Stitched Up Dan, Tilly Jane. Next in was the answer. Uh, further back then to Artie B. Mickey after a tough run. Jillaby Illuminate uh, was next time. Eureka Joe was the one that was running on towards the end. They're about sixth or fifth. Looked like diamonds and towards the end was uniquely ideal. The final quarter in 26-4 and the mile rate was 156.2 for Elderberry Park. Well, taking short odds in Group 1 races, it doesn't get much easier a watch than that on Coastal Babe. Uh, the star New Zealand filly just led so comfortably and then just got a, such a great time in front by James Herbertson, a young driver who is absolutely taking harness racing by storm in the past couple of seasons. That is his sixth Group 1 his second pacing group one. Michael Guerin, tell us about Stephen Reid. So Stephen Reid is a well-known trainer in New Zealand. He sent this horse across to Emma Stewart to be trained. Uh, Stephen actually lives in Auckland, but he is actually moving to Christchurch next week, which is a very rare move for a harness racing trainer. It's Melbourne to Sydney-ish, but he's well, well into his 50s, Reid, so he's been living in the Auckland his whole life.